Springs are very important in motion control and industrial equipment, but often go unnoticed as they are typically mounted deep inside an assembly of moving parts. They are found in everything from door closing mechanisms on machine tools to mechanical seals in rotary unions. Let's examine the three primary types of springs used in industrial applications. The first is the compression spring. These resist axial compressive forces and are one of the most efficient springs when it comes to storing energy. When force is applied to a compression spring, it compresses or shortens and stores energy. As the spring tries to return to its original length, it releases this energy and pushes back against the load. An example of a compression spring in practical use would be within a shock absorber. Those devices rely on compression springs to return to their extended positions after each cycle. Extension springs are another type found in industrial spaces. These springs are coiled with an initial tension, and when the spring is lengthened, it creates a pulling force as it tries to return to its original shape. These springs have loops or hooks on the ends so that they can easily attach to components that need to be held together by the spring's force. One way to explain the main difference between compression and extension springs is to compare their loads at zero deflection. Compression springs have zero load at zero deflection, while extension springs experience a load at zero deflection due to their initial tension. A common example of extension springs are those used on trampolines. Industrial uses include medical devices, and door mechanisms on automated equipment. It's important to note that extension springs have no mechanism to prevent overloading. The third type of common industrial spring is the torsion spring. These are designed for applications that need resistance to twisting forces rather than axial tension or compression forces. Torsion springs are helically wound springs with arms on the ends that rotate about the spring's central axis. The arms are connected to external components which apply a load to the spring. It is important to note that the load on a torsion spring should only be applied in the direction that causes the spring's diameter to decrease. Common examples of torsion springs would be those used in clothespins or musical instrument wiring. We hope you've gained a better understanding of what the three types of industrial springs are and how they function within an industrial system. To browse our inventory for available springs and spring accessories, visit our website at galco.com and stay tuned to GTV for more tech tips.